um, I have the pleasure of introducing our first speaker this evening. She's sitting right there. It's Ka'ihilani Abalos. Is, she's a 2010 graduate of Waianae High School. She's currently in the AAT Associates of Arts in Teaching program. She's going to be graduating in May. Yay! Um, she plans on transferring to UH, West Oahu, to complete her bachelor's degree in elementary education. She currently works as a front desk aide at Leeward Community College and a part-time teacher at Waianae Elementary School. So I'd like to bring up Ka'ihi for you this evening. Okay, so um, I'm Ka'ihi, and I work at Wainai Elementary and Leeward Community College. And I will be talking about many different things. Bear with me, I kind of made this PowerPoint right before I came. So this is my family. Well, I, have, I actually have three sisters, but one's in the mainland, so I couldn't find a picture of her. But she looks like me, exactly like me. She's my twin. And then um, the other two is my other two sisters, they're twins. Yeah, two sets, all girls. So I found me in a hospital work like a guy. Um, I was born and raised in Waianae, and um, of course I work in Waianae, I go to school in Waianae, everything's in Waianae. And then um, I don't really go far, like the farthest part I go is like Kunia, and that's it. Um, I am connected to Waianae through my family. Um, we we do a lot of things. We like to go down to um, Yokohama, or I forget what the Hawaiian name is to that place. But we would go and watch the sunset, and you know, have dinner and go swimming. And so we try to pass that tradition on with my nieces and nephew. And then, of course, those are my babies. Why well, they're literally not mine, but I always take care of them. And then my educational pathway. So I will be graduating this May with my associates from New York Community College. And I will strive to go and get my bachelor's degree in elementary education. But I also want to do like a dual um, thing where I can get my um, degree in special needs. And um, I also want to become a teacher on the west side because, you know, I grew up on the west side and I want to help these kids, you know, I can connect with them and the struggles they went through. And the whole reason why I came to college was because of my nephew who lives in the mainland. Fortunately, I don't have a picture of him. But um, when my sister got sick, you know, I, I took care of my, my nephew and my sister. And when they left for the mainland, I felt really sad. And that is when I knew that I wanted to work with kids. And so, you know, I did my research, you know. I wanted to do something like a daycare or something, you know, work in that area. But there's not really job opportunities with that. So I went into more you know research and i found out about teaching and so that is how i became a t you know on this pathway to teaching um <clears throat> the reason another reason why i want to go into teaching is because i love kids um they're so much fun to work with and i recently became a part-time teacher before i was a ppt which is a paraprofessional tutor and so I worked with one-on-one -on -one with a student. But this time, I worked with a whole bunch of kids. And I helped them with reading and writing and math and some of their fine motor skills. I work with kindergarten kids, so they're really cute and adorable. Yeah. And that's like the closest, you know, 
my nieces and nephew can kind of, you know, compare to. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay. My struggles. Oh, I had a lot of struggles this semester. Um, one of them is my family. Mommy, my mom is very sick right now. She has heart problems. And then, so you've been in and out of the hospital with that. And then just recently, my computer broke down on me. So I have to go out and buy me a new computer. And it's really hard because, you know, you have online classes and it requires internet. Yeah, so that's another struggle. School is just a struggle because most of my friends went to West Oahu already. So I'm like by myself. Right? I got no one to talk to, no one to work with besides Rick, you know. <laughs> I, I go to his office and I just bother him. But I end up doing my work at the same time, so that's good. Um, and of course, one of the big struggles is paying for my tuition because um, my parents make too much money. I'm not in that bracket yet to where you know I can qualify for financial aid. So I pay out of pocket or through loans. And then books, of course, is expensive itself. But, you know, I get there. <laughs> um, and right now my family is planning on moving to the Big Island. So I am planning on staying back so I can meet my goal and work on the west side and become a teacher. So I'm currently looking for a place. And I'm, I'm almost there. Yeah. I'm just waiting back for a word. Um, another struggle that you know, is that I deal with this semester is just doing my work. You know, it's, it's always the last semester where you don't want to do any work because you're like kind of over it. So I have to force myself to do my work. And yeah, it doesn't help because a lot of the times I'm with my nieces and nephews and I just have to, you know, try to do it in between being with them and, you know, between work and, you know, just family life. Um, yeah. My message to the community. So, achieve your goals no matter what comes your way. Do what makes you happy and don't worry about what other people may say about you because in the end, it's all about you. And that is the part where, you know, I'm kind of learning along. Because I'm so used to, to just, you know, doing what other people want. And if, you know, nobody is happy, then, you know, I kind of do what they want to make them happy. And so because my family is moving, you know, I'm learning how to make myself happy. And so no matter what, don't give up. So I'm not giving up. I'm gonna get my degree and be a teacher. And yeah, that's it.